We are live. Let me refresh and get the sound. Make sure you can see me. Make sure you can hear me. All right, refresh this. Uh, picture looks good. If sounds good, then I guess we're ready to roll. Let me get this out of the way. And let me see who's here. Uh, man, we had 20-something uh, people waiting, 30-something people waiting, and we're ready to roll on the live show. It's a world record on this live show. The first live show, I'm wearing pants. Wanted to change things for 2020. Mr. Stillier Fines, Menace, Dustin Abdullah, Stone Builder, Tony Still Kicking at Sports, and Matthew One Hit a Flippa, and eBay Joey, Matthew Lucky on Three Legs, Affordable Paragons, uh, Sneaky Feet, what's up? JJ19J, V Card, Tracy Murphy, let's see, is what it is, Extra Grands, District Deals. Sun E, Chino Brown, keep going up, let's see who is here, TDS Venom, and Robert, what's up, LP Cells, oh, Soupy's in the house, uh, Neville, Destin, Antonio, Ambitions, Chris, keep going up, man, more people coming in, uh, Red Drum Garage, nice to see you too, Any Girl Shoe Flippers, she's asking to see who's here, Mark Anthony, Aaron, Tony, D. Finn, eBay, Joey, Vince, Jared, Michael, more people coming in. All right, let's start off the show. We like to just get a little icebreaker, so let's add it to the screen. Who you got? Now, last week, I was a little off on my picks. I'm hopefully you didn't place any bets on Hustler Hacks picks. I was off, and the Ravens uh, screwed me on this one. I actually did put money, and I did lose. I honestly thought Ravens, come on, man, like 14 and two, they did well. And then like bandwagoner Redskins fans made the change onto Ravens. And then they just, they choked bad Tennessee now going up against Kansas city. Who are you going to pick up uh, for these two games? And then we have green Bay against San Francisco. Who are you picking up? Let's see. Titans. And Kansas City 49ers. Who do you want to see for Super Bowl? Last year, it was a sleeper. We had Patriots in there. Every time Patriots, it's just so boring. Um, you end up drinking more. You're eating more. Um, so in this case, I think it's going to be exciting Super Bowl. But I'm, I'm guessing. Here we go. Hustler Hacks picks. Kansas City against Green Bay. That's what I'm going with. I'm sticking with it. And the Super Bowl, yeah, in Miami. I saw that. Tennessee, let's see, more. some 49ers going to the Super Bowl. Felicia uh, didn't choke, couldn't stop Derrick Henry, which we're going to talk about Derrick Henry in the live show for some reason, and it has to do with Burlington. <laughs> okay, let's go to eBay solds, and then we'll get into weekend releases where there's a lot of sneaker releases coming out, and nothing really that, that awesome, uh, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, this one, Jordan 12, Chinese New Year. You guys have seen this one too. Now, I started to do this thing where since, hey, women's shoes, no fees, I started to convert all of my kid shoes, grade school shoes, to have women's in the title. And I was like, uh, may I change the category? See if I could pull that off a bit. And hold on, let me put, let me get this guy out of here. <laughs> uh, there we go. And it's been working. So I sold this. I actually sold um, like two or three of these uh, to the same guy too. But 180 So we made a little bit over $80 profit in this one. ROI, 81%. And our PayPal fee is $5.70. And let's see. Purchased November 22nd, late last year. And sold well. This one about a couple uh, 10 days ago or so. Hustle B, what's up? And uh, yeah, it was my uh, birthday yesterday. <laughs> 34 years young. Next one, uh, Air Max 270s. You guys saw this one in the video January 6th when I picked them up, sold them for 120 And uh, white shoes are kind of weird too because they don't look bad. But you look, when you kind of look at the details, I'm like, eh, it's not like pure white, but it, I mean, it looks like mostly white. I mean, depends how picky 
the buyer is. I guess we'll find out. Uh, made almost 50 bucks on this one. And I believe they were size eight. Yeah, they were size eight. So this one, another uh, great ROI. And uh, next one, or last one, for 140 bucks, Kyrie Five Friends. And it was kind of ridiculous on how cheap uh, some of these were selling on Goat without a box. So that kind of sucked. But uh, size 13 put them on eBay and sold for 140. So I made 75 bucks. Our ROI, uh, 154%. Just because these were, I think, forty-five dollars uh, when we picked those up. You guys saw that one in the video, and uh, more Kyrie's coming out at Ross. Okay, let me go to. We'll talk about our uh, weekend releases, but I want to see the chat. What's going on? Same day as my daughter, Texas Pete. Nice. Uh, I got a, a lot of happy birthdays in here. Uh, appreciate that. And let's see what else do we got. Goat has been good to me this month from Sneaky Feet. And goat been killing it for me for miles. So always good to see great goat sales and happy B days. I appreciate that. Here we go. Weekend releases. And there's so many weekend releases to talk about. Uh, Patrick, five bucks. Happy B day. Thank you for that. Five bucks on the super chat. Uh, nice little uh, birthday. I'll use that five bucks. Get a coffee. You know, I'll rot their sourcing. Get something to eat. Thank you for that. All right, our first weekend release. This one came out two days ago. And uh, where's Will? I know my boy Wiz Will probably is in here. He sent me the link. He's like, hey, Shaq Gnosis coming out again. How do I feel about Shaq Gnosis? And uh, 140, though, I was like, eh, 140. These will probably go to like, a re we do have a Reebok outlet um, in my city. And they did not sell out in case you were wondering. Uh, because some of the Iversons did sell out, which Reebok, of course, made those. Uh, but these Shaq Gnosis did not. So here's what they look like. All the old school uh, sneaker heads out there. I know you remember these. But would you actually rock these? That's the real question. Um, here's Shaq trying to kick a ball or kick Rodman. I don't know what he's trying to do here. And here we go. So 140. Smash or pass. Would you rock them? That's what I need to know first. We know resale value, not really there because they didn't sell out. Paper Drew, what's up? And here's here's the thing, though. Here's what they look like on feet. And um, I think it takes a special type of person to rock this shoe. I mean, look how huge they look. I'm pretty sure this is like an average dude wearing a normal size and he looks like a dinosaur. I mean, what's going on with this thing? And only one thing I don't like about this shoe is the Shaq dunking logo. Um, maybe it just makes me feel like, like a Shaq branded shoe. But a very special person to rock this um, on feet. Menace, five bucks. Thanks for that. Get a sandwich and a coffee with that, sir. Appreciate that. So five bucks from Menace and from Patrick. Let's see what the chat says. Pass and pass and pass. I get dizzy just looking at those things. Pass. Nope. Uh, Stevie D, what's up? He trying to throw off his sneakers. Pass, pass, pass. I had OG when they came out. Yes, I'm one of those old heads. Still kicking at sports. There we go. I knew those some of them out there in the chat. Had to be. Let me see what's going on here. All right, we're not frozen. Nothing. Pass. God no from District Deals. And y'all bugging smash from Trackstar. Let's see, $34.99 at Burlington in a few months. I, hey, for $35, bucks, which that could happen. Reebok likes that $35. Bucks. Maybe I'd get them. <laughs> Roach Stompers from Willy Will. All right, next one, Nike DNA Series, 87 and 91 pack. So actually came out today, sneakers app, $250. And this one, Air Max 1 and Hirachi in uh, red and silver. This one's kind of have like a pale with like a green and blue. I don't know what's going on here, but 250. I feel like this is one that we'll see at the outlets and have like a fancy box and they still can't get rid of them. And they just keep like, you know, clearancing them down, extra 20, extra 30. And then, uh, and then they just kind of sit there, but maybe you'd rock these. I don't know. Lame, not for 250. Yuck, pass. These will be at Burlington. It probably will be. Nike giving us January off to kill us in February. That I do agree. Paper Drew. Uh, yeah, 250. Nonsense. 
Uh, cool box, but pass 250. Cool not buying like the clots. Yeah, clots and tailwind. Fancy ass box. And no one picking those up. When the box is fancier than the shoe, it's you know it's going to be rough. Darren, what's up? Robert says uh, February going to be crazy. Pass and no way. All right, next one. Kyrie 6 Chinese New Year. So this one also came out today, 110 on the sneakers app. Let's look up sneakers app and see what's going on. Um, this, did these do well? Or I don't know, some of the Kyries, we had some of the collabs out there, concepts collabs. This one though, uh, Chinese New Year themed and uh, following up men's colorway just released top this month and traditional folk art of paper cutting. And let me go today's drops. Uh, where are we? There's that pack, that DNA pack. And I don't even see the Kyrie on here. I see the Golden Mummy, but only in kids. Pass, pass. Yes, smash. Uh, smash, drip if it was men's size. DNA pack sold out. Yeah, I just saw that right now when I opened up a sneakers app. Wild. Uh, pass, so I had to design my own Kyrie and Nike riding that Chinese New Year wave so hard. Exactly, they are. And see, good evening from Marrakech. What's up? Pass, ew, and not released till 25th. That's kind of weird. I wonder why I said 15th. I don't like that. They're trying to trick us. Next one, Air Max 270 React, laser blue, and eggplant. <laughs> so January 16th, tomorrow, 160 for 270 React. Travis Scott who? <laughs> Although the Air Max 270 React was unveiled, collab, popular rappers now set to kick off in line life that's own week, laser blue and eggplant. Uh, <laughs> those will be at the outlets, outlet returns, hell nah, this one colorful, let's see, smash, I love that shrunk style change of push, too high, best 270 model, eggplant they say, yes, so this is laser blue, laser blue. And this is the eggplant one, <laughs> which I had to throw that in here. I mean, come on now. So Smasher Pass, you know what? Would you rock, tell me in the chat, would you rock the eggplant Air Max 270 React? Um, <laughs> Stevie D, Lava <laughs> Outlets, look at other pairs. Uh, let's see. McSteven, what's up? Eggplant looks better. Those are worse. No, no, no. I'll smash the eggplant. I'd rather die. I'd rock if Nike paid me. And Zeke says just purely no. Um, yeah, this color is a little bit better, but eggplant. All right, Air Force One, React, DMSX. And so this one, Sublabel, has created a new, what, bold new Air Force One React. So... I mean, you get a better insole, everything in here, and a little bit different on the sole. But this D, I don't even know what this stands for, but I've seen them at the outlets, and none of these models that have this DMSX thing ever really sell that great. Um, at least I've seen them at the outlets, different styles, different models, different boxes, and they look cool, like something's going on. Then you look up the resale value, and nothing's going on. Let's see, boring. <laughs> I see the Skechers version. Uh, D <laughs> DMX, where are my dogs at? Smash, ride the eggplant wave, and eh. Fire my guy, pass. Uh, seen the black version last weekend at the outlet for the collection. Yep, always sitting and for the collection and lame from Darren. All right, let's start getting, even then this is not getting better. Matter of fact, we're adding Adidas in here. This is going to be a long live show. Uh, two dollars DVD <laughs> for an eggplant. Oh man, two bucks on the super chat. All right, Beyonce, uh, EV Park Ultra Boost, and you probably saw the photo. Beyonce has a shoe, ass showing, shoe hanging, and 180 for these Ultra Boost comes out January 18th. And Beyonce and Adidas are releasing a full footwear and apparel collection. Uh, so let's see. What else do they say on here? It was shades of burgundy and orange. Accompanied by similarly styled night joggers. And uh, yeah, Beyonce's loyal hive of fans. Stop with the Ultra Boost. Resell. Smash for resell. Let's see. One of the best Ultra Boost in a while from Zeke. 
Um, I <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. I'd smell out for Beyonce smash. Let's see, Fire Best Shoe. You have shown who is Beyonce. Uh, let's see. I want Beyonce and Kanye collab shoe. Smash for Beyonce. Not even a reg tag buy. I'm kind of interested though. Let's see what happens with this shoe. Um, I do think it will sell well for Ultra Boost, even though I know a lot of Ultra Boost and even some of the easy stuff have somewhat died down. But this one might not be too bad. I don't know about 180. Let's see what happens. Not wearing Beyonce's shoe ever. All right, here we go. Jordan Air Jordan OG for the ladies. So any of the ladies in the chat, would you rock? Air Jordan OG comes out uh, tomorrow, 140. First ever women's Jordan brand sneaker and is back for the first time since 1998. And it does have features of a Jordan 13. You can see here in the toe box. Also have like uh, this little design here with these uh, circles in here. Um, so the OG is one of Jumpman's finest team focused styles and white and black colorway still crisp more than two decades after it debuted. So how do you feel about this one, Jordan OG? How do the ladies feel about this one? Smash, the fits would be so extra. I laugh out loud from Red Drum. Uh, ew, no, nah, <laughs> what are those? Um, isn't this show at Burlington already? Uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, the chat tells it as it is. So I'm not a lady though, trash and ugly. They're trying, I could see these at the outlets. Next one, Gatorade and Nike PG4 GX. How do you feel about the little zipper thing here? They're not Gary Payton's, they're Paul George, and they come out January 17th. Retail, 120. So Paul George signature line. Um, let's see, ranging from PlayStation to NASA, now it's looking to Gatorade to brand new PG4. And you get kind of like this little Gatorade, uh, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> How do we feel about this? Uh, pass, meh, I'd rock, dope, looks like Toy Story KD4, Nike Outlet in three, two, and one. This ain't it. Thirsty gave me some Gatorade, worst Paul George shoe ever. Not bad. Miguel, what's up? Uh, bruh, pass, looks okay. I'll buy them from Burlington for 50. You might be able to buy them uh, at the outlets. For 50. Tough to get. Had a release on them on finish line. I'd rock. PGs make them stop. Here we go. Jordan 34. Yet another colorway. And they're just going to keep bringing these out. 180. And metallic silver. Smash or pass. Did anybody pick up any Jordan 34s so far to resell or to rock? Have you picked up any of them? Clean colorway. Just stop Jordan. Smash pass looks like a moon boot. Uh, I like it. Fire trash Willie will pass smash for resale personal for hooping. And let's see. Holy shoe. Where I'll wear these to church. Jordan needs to stop with this nonsense. Pretty clean pass. I'd rock it. Those look dope. And let's see. Smash and smash Jordan 34 NASA. A little bit better than some of the other colors we've seen for the Jordan 34. But still, though, 180, a Jordan 33 eventually hit the outlet, so might want to look for that. And here we go. I think this is our last one. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Satin. Now, this is for real this time. We've been playing around a lot. For real. Smash or pass for the collection or to resell. Remember, Jordan 1s have also now bumped up that price. No longer 160. We're now we're at 170. For Jordan 1s, and this one, Jordan 1 primed for a big year in 2020. Primed for a big year is one thing. Them just, you know, shoving out different colorways is another thing. And this black satin makeup is kicking things off with its shimmering stylings. <laughs> uh, furthering the sporty yet premium at those, what? <laughs> Unreleased from this year's past, like satin black toe and satin shattered backboard. These smooth kicks are a fresh start to a new decade for the Jumpman's most popular model. And it's he had caught from the outlet hash wall to plain from Hustleby. Uh, what's the upper made of? Not leather, I'm out. And it looks like a little mix. I do think they're clean, 
Personally, I don't like, if I was to rock these, I don't really like the red leases. Um, I would probably put black leases on them. Fire, fire. Uh, do you guys even like shoes too much? Pass. Uh, oh, look, a same version. Exactly. Who am I kidding? Pass. Bled, but also heat. Kind of smash. Pass. Uh, just a new Jordan 1. These will go up. Doug the Pug. So a little prediction saying they will go up. Fire and fire. And let's see. White laces. Could try that. Pass. What's up? Vicente says, uh, what up, homie? Love the vids. Appreciate that. And uh, remind me of uh, PSG. Kind of has that same same kind of style. I didn't like the PSGs, too. I had them, too, in hand. Bought them from the outlets. Wasn't really feeling them. So if you wanted to see what the map looks like, which we, we do this from time to time, foot action. And it looks like, so Colorado, Utah, a couple of them. And I don't know how El Paso always gets thrown into like Mexico for some reason. But I know our one mall is getting them. Florida and of course California, they go insane on releases. And even up in New York and uh, Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska. Jordan Brand just hating on these states. Uh, <laughs> Hello, people in Texas. East Coast represent, and let's see. So yeah, if you want to look that up, you can check out Foot Action, Foot Locker, picking that up at your mall if you want to pick those. Um, or even you can check online, let's see how well they do. I personally do not think they will sell out. So I'm going with pass on it. Collection-wise, totally up to you. I do think they're a little clean, but I think they uh, won't sell out. So my prediction. All right, now let's get into store updates. Now, I told you we were going to talk about Derrick Henry. He made his way in here and Burlington. And we didn't talk about store updates and store news last week. It was very, very slow. But this week, Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker Ulysses Gilbert III. I actually never heard of this guy. I think he's like third string. I don't know. Anyway, he did pay off. Some of the layaways at Burlington in Florida. And our boy Derrick Henry paid off 10 grand worth holiday layaways for families in Nashville. So imagine going to Burlington and Derrick Henry's there. Now this guy, you know, first off, it's kind for him. Hey, 10 grand, but my boy is about to get paid. Free agent. He's going to make that sick money um, next year, leading the league in rushing. So Derrick Henry... And imagine seeing him at Burlington, though. Like, you're, like, face-to-face. -face, you see him in the aisle. You eye a Vapormax. He eyes that same Vapormax. Like, do you just give it to him? He's, like, 6'3", 240. And in case you want to look like, you know, what he looks like compared to regular humans, uh, this is what he looks like. Uh, <laughs> this is Dion Lewis, who's 5'8". And this guy is a monster. Um, he'd probably just break your back, like... Bane and Batman or something. Uh, square up, sir. <laughs> Affordable Paragons. Take the shoe. Um, stiff arm in him. Uh, can't outrun him. You can't outrun him. And his strength is out of control. Um, this is probably what I would look like uh, next to him, except without muscles. Uh, I'm about like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, so, <laughs> yeah. Hit him hard. Hell nah, tells Rich ass to pay retail. Uh, let's see. Low man wins, even he has 80 pounds on me. Pepper spray from Nick. Um, I didn't get to see Derrick Henry, but I live in Nashville. People are going crazy. That's that's awesome. So, Felicia, hopefully um, he resigns, and then maybe next year does the same thing at Burlington. Now, I know what you're thinking. People that are in uh, cities with NFL players. I'm just going to put a bunch of stuff on layaway. All the fines I can get, and I'm hoping an NFL pair, uh, player pays for them. Don't do not do that. <laughs> Bro, you look like an infant next to Henry. I, I know. Eat me alive. All right. And another news. If you are in, in the area, sad day for the mall. This is an old school Burlington. Look at that grimy Burlington. And look at the way they made this photo, too. That's not really uh, appealing. Washington Square Mall. Anybody in the chat... In the area, they're closing 
one of your beloved Burlingtons. And uh, Washington Square Mall, they're closing a Dick's Sporting Goods and Burlington. And this will uh, close January 24th. So I don't know what they're doing with, I guess, the merchandise that's already there. Maybe clearing them out. Maybe moving them to a different store. I have no clue. But maybe you should check it out. I don't know if this one's good or not. Mikey says that one is a dump. Let's see. <laughs> Dustin, no, really? That sucks. 90% um, off says Menace. And uh, I'm going to break in from Darren. Ross will be there next. Uh, what if, like, the tables have turned and Toys R Us moves in? Oh, that's Addiction District Deals. We're on the same page. Toys R Us coming for revenge. Um, let's see. That flipping guy, what's up? I'm 63205. Man, he's ready to take on Derrick Henry. Just replace it with a Ross and blow it up from Willie Will. That was it for our store updates. We are now into our power rankings. We're 25 minutes in. And power rankings, we have so much going on. This was last week. Didi's discounts at 5. TJ Maxx, 1 star. Marshalls, 2.5. Burlington, 3.5. And, and Ross at 4 stars. Now this week, TJ Maxx did fall. Now you say rest in peace, Didi's from Curtis. Didi's on the rise. TJ Maxx has fallen, and Didi's with one star, TJ Maxx with a half a star. Here are those finds. And remember, a couple of things. You know what? More than a couple of things. Number one, you know what? Let me get this out of the way. I don't want to distract. Number one, um, if you're going to tag me on photos, uh, please try to have like a tag from the store. At least I know where it's coming from. Uh, because I get tagged on stuff, and it's like in your bedroom or lighting, or you're gonna take it for eBay. I have no clue where this, where it came from. I have no clue what the, uh, you know, what, what store it came from, or what the price was. Uh, so to keep that fair, I need to know. So try to get an in-store photo. Number two, yes, we are gonna see more people added onto our list to see who will be our first ever hustler hog of January. And what was the third thing I wanted to talk about? Um, I totally forgot. Oh, yeah. Third thing. Remember, if you don't see your photo in here, next week you will because I started working on this early Tuesday, I think. So I didn't get to get to all of them that came out from today and late yesterday. Okay. Back to the live stream. Here we go. And it, when you fall below DDs, you failed at being a store from Robert. <laughs> Okay, here we go with TJ Maxx, and this is why they went down a half a star. We have Tennessee and our Tennessee College jersey, one thirty-five retail, forty dollars. We also have C and J Enterprises with Metcons for women, fifty dollars, and Resell Freak with the Serena Williams Nike, not Serena Williams Jordans. These are also tennis shoes. They have her logo on the tongue, forty-five dollars. This is all we got. For our TJ Maxx tags. So TJ Maxx fell under DD's. And here we go. DD's discounts. Uh, Fiercy Tans finds. And we got, this is kind of funny though. So we got Prestos, 50 bucks. We got PG's, 55. This is actually a really step up for DD's um, to have uh, Paul George in here. And uh, Dee Dee's in here, they just kind of threw on a receipt that a someone uh, returned. I don't know what happened here with these uh, Ultra Boost. And they just throw, threw that on there. Um, let's see, how do we get on in this? You got to tag me on your finds and uh, just whatever in store. And then you get to throw in for the uh, live show. And then, yes, I do have Sneaky Feet. I do have the Hardens. Um, but I thought that one was Marshalls, so that, <laughs> it's probably got thrown into the Marshalls one. And let's see, sometimes you do that in the Ross My area. That's weird, just throwing in a, uh, a receipt. All right, Marshalls time, two stars, and some are all right, and some are a little bit better. Um, Didi's <laughs> still beat TJ Maxx, I know. That's all it took, really, to beat TJ Maxx and the fines. Okay, first we get random stuff. 
and Flippin' Vintage, $239 on clearance for the Xbox One. And if this goes yellow tag, you know, might want to watch that for Marshalls. I know one of our Marshalls has at least like six of them. Um, they're all behind the register. They don't want anybody touching them, looking at them. And I believe they're at red tag. They might go down to yellow tag. I don't know what that price will be. But take a look at that. Price Assassins uh, with the USA Elite, Nike Elite Basketball uh, backpack. And then uh, Activate Hustle Mode uh, Power Wheels. Barbie Jeep Power Wheels, which got yellow tagged. And Railer Tag, Red Tag, Yellow Tag. And look at that Power Wheels. I mean, you have a kid. That's awesome. And my cousin used to have this Barbie Jeep and would never let me drive it. Sucked. This was me, passenger. And it was not fun. Undercover reseller. $80 for the Under Armour golf bag. Easy money, which I agree. And $250 was a comparable value. Next one, thrifting together. Arizona fines and flipping dollars with the Polo High Tech. Was that button up? And on yellow tag for 39 bucks, I believe. Flipping dollars, thrifting together. We got a Colts uh, salute to service hoodie, Nike hoodie. I think I got clearance to like 20 bucks or something. Arizona fines, $18. Phoenix Suns shorts. Next one, Fast Eddie District Deals kicks for flips and looking for thrifts. We got NMDs $50. We got Ultra Boost at $80. And District Deals and Kicks for Flips with the New Balance. I believe these were like Cole Haan New Balance, I believe. $50 each. And let's see what kind of size is. 10 and a half, 11, 9 and a half. And we can't see them here. But there we go. Got tagged on those. And next one, we got uh, Sneaky Flips, Shoe Finds, and Sneaker Finds 12. So we got a bunch of hardens. They got marked down on Yellow Tagged. And at first, I thought these were Marshalls. They're actually TJ Maxx. So sorry, TJ Maxx. This probably would have put you over uh, DDs, but you're going to take your L and you're going to like it. Shoe Finds, uh, Harden Volume 3, Rockets 90 jersey. Look at that. Uh, seven pairs, $35 each. Unfortunately, we don't know what sizes. Hopefully, they're good sizes. Uh, we do see the Marshalls tag. 35 bucks. Good to see Marshalls with something different uh, besides the basic stuff that we've seen. And then uh, Sneaker Finds 12 also with Hardens. These are pretty cool. The sizes, though, a little big. We got 14 and a half all the way 16 and 17. Uh, but this gives me somewhat hope because Marshalls right now, ugh, it's been it's been rough. Let me go back up and see what the chats. I, I totally ignored the chat. And let me see, do people, what does it say? So, <laughs> do people have to buy what they're tagging you or just find it? Um, they don't have to buy it um, because then let's say the find wasn't even that great to begin with, then it may not even make the live show. Um, so they could take a photo, they could tag me whatever they want. Um, so then we kind of go from there. Uh, eBay Joey, good question. Decent. Let me see. Um, why would you not buy it? <laughs> uh, bringing the heat with the new balance. Um, waiting for Pag uh, Patagonia to go down. Get yellow tagged again. 35 bucks on Harden. Some sneaky feet. And let me see. You go. Marshalls is whack. Um, Glenn calls the stores a verified purchase. So you have to buy it. We're like, yeah. Did, uh, did Shoe Finds buy these? And then Marshalls will let me know. Uh, let's see. Same. All right. Let's go to the next one. Marshall sucks from Felicia. I do agree. But last one, looking for thrifts who had a field day on Orlando Magic Gear. $30 for the Swingman jerseys. And not only that, some of the classic regular Penny Hardaway uh, colorways are there. The blue one, the pinstripe uh, in blue and black. Uh, these are a little weird design. I'm never really a huge fan of these. Also got the camel one in there. But the shorts, magic shorts, how did this happen? And not only that, our boy Relentless Resale uh, did not, I don't know where he was during this time, 
because uh, he's in Orlando and in the area, and he did not scoop up any of this. So I don't like that. My boy Relentless. Um, need to get on top of things, but looking for thrifts, jerseys, and shorts, and everything in here. Uh, that would go perfect with Shaq Gnosis. <laughs> Where was Los? I don't know. That's a good question. And Mitchell Ness are garbage quality since moving production to China. It's because the, these are the swing men and not the authentic. Now, authentic still have great quality, but they're just way overpriced. Like, you're not going to, you know, spend 300 on the authentic Mitchell and Ness. Um, so these are the swing men, which, yeah, the quality is different on these. Los busy on vacation. He was on a date. <laughs> Don't bother our boy from Hustleby. And let me see. Nice finds. I want that. Magic jerseys. Fire. Oh, authentic too. Pretty terrible. Hustle Crow. And Los on a honeymoon. And then uh, Russo resells with the Air Max 97. $45. Multicolor. Would you rock these? Smash or pass? Um, in the chat. I don't know how I feel about the colorway. But I do like the price at 45 bucks and complete with box. So not bad. Uh, your favorite Air Max model? That's a good question. Um, I do have, I don't know, 97s are up there with 98s. I guess I could say, I guess I could say 97s. Um, Air Max Plus uh, or Air Max 1 is also a classic. Air Max 90. All right, 720 from Dustin. All right, Burlington, two and a half. I'm not going to lie to you. Burlington right now uh, has been pretty crappy as well. And we've seen better days. I think the only thing good right now with Burlington is the fact that they're playing Careless Whisper on the intercom. That's the only thing good right now. It's been, they've been taking them way longer to rebuild compared to Ross. Um, that's for damn sure. And I was really like, you know what? Let me get a Burlington video in. We've done too many Ross videos, but at the same time, Ross has been fire. So I'm like, what should I do? Um, so I don't know. This Friday, it will be a Burlington or Ross video. I'm still working on the edits on both. But it's just the Ross finds right now have just been way better than Burlington. So I'm like, eh, maybe the Burlington can wait. Uh, playlist at Burlington, though, fire, mile high hustle. Uh, let's see. Let me go back up. Burlington is a nightmare right now. Not even restocking since Christmas. And let me go back up. Let's see. Where are we? <laughs> let's see. Hell yeah, I'm rocking. Love that song. Heat coming soon. And Burlington clothes much better. They have gotten some better clothes stuff. Um, but shoe wise, tailwinds. Anybody seen those Rockaware Jordan 1s? I'm like, Burlington, don't do this to us. I mean, you've been so fire in 2019. Now you're hitting us with these, you know, Rockwear Jordan 1s. Why? Um, what else was there recently? Of course, a lot of Fila's. We've gotten that. And what else have I seen? Um, Shocks Gravity making a return. It's wild. And let's see. Yeah, they're everywhere. Can't stand those. And yeah, seen the Rockaway highs and low. I did see the lows. I totally forgot about the lows. All right, let's get into our Burlington finds. Jay Minaj with the uh, $20. Look at that. Predators Parley Adidas jersey, 20 bucks. And then uh, Cam Pepper with the Ohio State jersey, $29. Very nice. Uh, sne sneaks and things underscore resale. Also with the same jersey. And look at that, 200. Uh, but this is 26th. Did Ohio State lose before or after this date? I totally forgot when they lost. Um, so that could have helped. And then uh, just fire deals. Team USA, zip up. And 20 bucks or $9, actually $10 for these. With a Team USA Nike. Not bad. Looks like there's uh, quite a bit of them, like six of them on the rack. So clothing, uh, $10 for those. Let me see. BKK, nice. I'm Jay Minaj. So there you go. You're fine right there. Pablo, what's up? Robert and Sergio Bone Dry Burlington. Next one, Willie Will with Air Max 97. And looks like they're Air Boy size 6, 35 bucks. 
Jersey Surge with the Windbreaker 95s. We saw this one late 2019, so there might still be more of them out there. Some people did also find this one complete with box at Marshalls. And then activate hustle mode. We have the Air Max 97 Plus with uh, $60, 10 or 10 and a half, two of them there. And then BX Thrifter cleats and Air Max Plus, the women's one in all black. All right, next one, Willie Will again with the Vapor Max for women's and this Vapor Max Mile High Hustle we have seen and BX Thrifter, same thing for the women's one, South Beach colorway. And today we flip, sorry, I don't know what happened to your photo, but he had cleats, 270, and I believe a Presto React or something on here. So sorry for that, buddy, but you did make it to uh, the slide. All right, thrifting together, Willie Will again, and uh, Russo resells. Now, first it started off, hey, 10 bucks for the bats, thrifting together, not bad. Willie Will hits it up, hey, a couple of bats, for some reason his is 15, this is nine, and then Russo resells comes up with half the Burlington store loaded with bats. Uh, what happened here? So anybody still picking up these bats? I don't know what the price is. I was really trying to see and try to zoom in here. This is at least how many bats are on here? Like 40 bats. <laughs> uh, this is, this is insane. I don't know. I didn't read his uh, comment. If you picked some of them up, none of them, all of them. I don't know. Hashtag bat gang district deals. Uh, those blue ones are crazy. <laughs> Look at all them bats. Resell Freak 100 to 150. That's how my closet <laughs> looks like with all the bats. What city? Good question. And how the hell did that many bats land there? What town is this? Still kicking its sports. Good question. I have no clue. Check them out. Russo resells. And I totally forgot what the comment was, but I'll look that up. Um, I never see these extra grands. All right, now we're into Ross finds. Four stars, and Ross is going to take us some time. We literally have categories to go through. Um, Ross has been straight up fire right now. Here we go. Hack the Matrix and Hustle Crew. We have KDs and LeBrons. We have high-end cleats with the Phantom Vision. $20, the price we know and love, and a size 10 and a half. Stealthy finds with the KDs and go steals and deals with the Romaleos at $40. So Volt Green, not bad. Great finds already for the first slide. Next one, Thrifting Wizard and 760 Cleater, Jersey Surge and LP Cells, Vapor Max $75. Here's the question, smash or pass? $75. Are you taking the all black Vapor Max? And then Air Ma uh, the uh, Air Max Deluxe, which I've seen this one also at mine, and a $70, too pricey for the Deluxe. We got Vapor Max and the 95s in here. And uh, we also got LeBrons, two pairs of the uh, red LeBrons. Let's see. Ross said passed on two today. Pass for 75 Pass. We need some Ross and NYC and a pass. Come on, Ross. And just a reminder, we are going to do a giveaway today. So stay for that. All right. Air Max Hunter with Air Max Plus in green and then kicks four flips. Man, look at that. One, two, three, four, five pairs, four or five pairs in here. Air Max Plus, same thing, same model for Mile High Hustle. Also got Air Max 95. 270s and check that one out from Ronzo's for uh, the Air Max Plus. That's pretty cool. Next one, uh, Rubber City Resale. Same thing. We got Air Max One. We got the Plus, and then we got the 95s, and then we got Hustle Crow. Same model. Uh, our boy Cali finds with the uh, Hustle B colorway at 60, and District Deals Air Max 98, and the Air Max Plus at 60 in green so track star guys are killing it uh if the price is 75 i'll pass i do agree i mean we'll look at it a little bit later but 75 you know is a little bit high 
Paper Drew, I don't know about that 75. For real, Ross NYC would be fire. Uh, I'm kind of surprised Ross doesn't have one um, in New York City. Cali Finance is making it hard for me. Um, let's see, where's Ross Shellington's cart full of Vapor Max that he called a decent day? Uh, I know Ross Shellington's lunch break where he finds cart full. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Just Fire finds $40 for the LeBrons. Uh, we did see this one, and it was a pretty big size uh, for $40, but still, I would scoop that one up. Hustle Crow with the Soldiers and $55 LeBron Soldiers. Cali finds again $55 on the Soldier. Don't know what the size this one is. And, uh, oh, Cali finds a third time with LeBron Mag at $55. Uh, would you rock the mags? They're not that bad seeing them in person. But I'd probably only scoop up to get a good deal in your size. I probably wouldn't pay too much for them. All right, Resell Freak. Now we're bringing on Kyrie's and other random stuff. Jay Minaj with uh, Jordan 1 Mid, and it looks like $50, size 9 and 8. 50 bucks on that one. Air Max Deluxe, also here at 70. We have the Kyrie's, I think Duke Kyrie's, which I may or may not have found this one. And then also 60 bucks for the Air Max Plus. Kyrie's, $55 in triple black. Russo resells, 55 on the Burgundy Kyrie. Uh, imagine finding Jordan 1's in your Ross. <laughs> nice Jordan 1's. And laugh out loud. Let's see, currently at Ross San Antonio. Wish me luck. Texas Pete. Yeah, see, keep us posted. Ross Shellington is a district manager for Ross. All right, next one. LA Thrifter Hunter, which my boy's always killing it out there too. He finds random stuff, great stuff. And this one, cart full of uh, looks like Vapor Max and KDs and Kobe's down here, Soldiers. Kyrie's only thing with this photo is that I hope the person that got murdered on here is okay. Uh, hopefully they survived. Look at this blood all over the floor. This is, I don't know where he was, what Ross this one was, but uh, LA Thrifter Hunter got that photo. Deal account 888. We have up tempos. We have the same Jordan 1 mid, and we have some Air Force Ones, and this one. Oh, he also found some 270s, which we've seen that one, like the leather one. And yeah, the quality on there is kind of crappy. LA killing it for the fines. Took out a reseller for those. Uh, I know you can be murdered and live. I know I messed up on that one. Lucky in three legs. Good catch. H-Town uh, be dry. Uh, <laughs> fought Derrick Henry for that haul. He took a reseller out. And next one, Ross Shallington on his lunch break. So four pairs of the Vapor Max for the ladies and a little pair of up tempo. Just snuck it in there. And if you keep going on here, there's so many other little mini cart full finds. Ross Shallington, uh, of course, dominating. Mile High Hustle also had a great day. We got some Kyrie's and Kobe ADs, two pairs, purple uh, Stardust, I think that's what they call it, and uh, this white one. The Kobe AD NXT, love to call it. Ronzo's and Flip Flips and uh, Wada Hustle and two Cool Cat Finds with uh, Air Max Plus. Uh, There's a huge filter on here, so I could barely make out what it was at first. $55, Up Tempos and LeBrons and more Up Tempos for kids. Pretty cool colorway. This Up Tempo here and 50 bucks for the Camo Green. Let's see what the uh, chat says. Ross Shallington, decent, <laughs> decent day for Ross Shallington on the board of directors. Uh, let's see, dang, kind of decent. Ross Shallon King. Ross is boss. So you get the first pick working at Ross from Digode, and it's imagine getting good finds at Ross. And Josh Squad says hi. What up? All right, next one. Flip the script, A7 resells, and who pays retail and fiercey. We talked about those Vapor Max. They're here, $75, and I think fiercey left them behind. I don't know if they left this one behind or not. $70, different colorway, and A7 resells. We've seen this one, but 
he found a nice little uh, price tag, right? Oh, actually, wrong price tag at thirty-five, which usually they are fifty-nine. I think for this one, uh, thirty-five bucks, which I think that's a steal, especially right now. But there's so many of them on eBay. All right, next one, Martino finds and looking for thrifts and Chris Ramos and sorry who this was. You got blocked on here, but you did make it. Just don't know your name. We got the Air Max 95 Houston. These are for kids. Anybody picking these up, smash or pass for these 95s, or maybe you would rock them. Then, uh, yeah, let's see what the chat says. Martino finds never seen this foam posit out there, like a wool foam posit. Haven't seen this one. You can tell this is Ross because uh, of the floor in this find. And then $30 for the Jordan 13 cleats. And yes, totally different from the Soulfy cleats, but still 30 bucks. Should be able to flip these. Some of them have been hitting the outlets though. Um, they want to take a look at that. Pass on uh, for those fake 95s. Um, if I have a children, I'm naming my kid Ross or Marshall and naming my daughter Dee Dee. Man, said he was going all in. That dedication right there. Nice price. Me neither. Start selling shoes. Uh, Texas Pete. Uh, I feel like going up to a manager like, bro, this is Ross, not Foot Locker. <laughs> Some of the prices getting high. 70 bucks, at least for Vapor Max. Now, uh, Zapatos, which I don't know if he's here in the chat, had a field day. Kyrie's just like a slew of KDs. Uh, look at this. Flip this. Uh, flip the switch. Kyrie. This one alone. Um, you're making big money. And it looks like it got like four pairs. Kobe D's yellow and the red one. And I believe. And this is the same Kyrie as up here. So this is the same LeBron. So a little double in the photos. But regardless. This is a massive haul. Um. I'm just kind of surprised these are coming back. And I remember them selling. I think I sold one for like 180 at that time. I, I doubt it. There's like less than 20 listings for something like this. Um, the Kobe one too, big money. Um, we'll get into that one too. So I don't know where is he. But yeah, he's finding all kinds of stuff. Um, anybody know where he's located? California area? Maybe. Um, because it looks like competition is distracted or on a date like Los or something because this guy's been killing it oh uh, there he is he says hi um can't give out the locations i don't think even and it won't say your location unless you want to say your location period but it's not going to tell you uh tans finds with uh both of them the kobe ds we got the igloo and flip the switch. So this one is uh, $55, same price. Kobe AD in red, a tribe called Steels. And the Air Max Hunter, same one. Big money on these Kobe's, just like the uh, Kyrie's. Now it says here, uh, size 13 and a half. So a little weird, uh, but still though, I will definitely pick up this shoe. Uh, <laughs> Texas Pete, good evening, sir. Sepato says he's in Texas. Um, Let's see. You know it's serious when the cart comes out. Sold some for two forty-five. Joss Squad and Ghost Deals and Deals. We're keeping the Kobe's alive. Laced connection. Fast Eddie. Fifty-five dollars. Ghost Deals and Deals. Waited for super clearance and super markdowns for this Kobe. It went. I don't know what the original price was. Went down to twenty. Went down to thirteen. And Ross just said, "Screw it." A dollar forty nine. Someone please take these Kobe's. Someone buy them. They are a size eighteen. Kobe nine TB team basketball. A dollar forty nine. He's a catfish. Sapatos is a female. Guys, laugh out loud. Uh, let's see, catfish. Fine, he or she. We don't know. Uh, maybe in person. If we do meetups or something, we will find out. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of resellers. We get tagged on stuff. We don't know the real person behind the profile photo. But remember, we will have a nice good giveaway for people that show their face and hold up a find. Be out for that one. That giveaway is coming up very very soon. I'll see you in Miami. Zapatos nice or San Diego. 
Where is this person? California or Florida? All right, power rankings this week. TJ Maxx fell. Didi's went to one star. Marshall's at two. Burlington, I really am disappointed at two and a half. And Ross stays at four stars. Now, giveaway time and... We will get into the next people that are entered in to become a Hustler Hog for January. And I feel like the Hustler Hog portion is going to be my most hated portion from here on out. Because everybody wants to get in. But remember, we have plenty of time. We have all year for you to be entered in to become a Hustler Hog. There is no rush. We have all year. This is barely our first month. Here's our giveaway. Where is my giveaway? Here it is. $30 to Ross. And all you got to do, I hope you're ready. You got to put them in order. In order by most listed on eBay to least. Shout out to Cali Finds, LP Sells, Tans Finds, and Hustle Crow. So if you look at the photos, what did we see the most of? What did we see the least of? What would be worth the uh, most money looking on eBay? How many listings do you think? All you got to do is put them in order. Now, let me go to uh, where's my where's my answer? I know I uh, got the answer on here somewhere, hopefully. Uh, and I didn't take a picture of the answer. Okay. I have to disappear for a bit. Keep putting in your answers. Let me remove this so you can't see. And mm, there we go. All right. Got my answer. Now let me see who's going to win. Whoa. Almost added, <laughs> almost added the answer to the screen. Okay. Damn, these are going fast. Um, and remember, on my side, I see something different sometimes. I'll take a screenshot and show you what mine looks like. That's what I go with, the first one that I see. All right, our first, let me see, we're, uh, damn it, <laughs> we're running behind. Okay, if your answer does not start with a nine, then you're out. Samuel, no, Alan, no, Menace, no, Mark, Anthony at nine. Damn, that was quick. Um, our fourth answer in. And this Mark Anthony guy at 9, Z, Y, and 8 just put everyone to shame rather quickly. I was I really thought we were going to be in this for a long time. And that did not happen at all. Uh, LP sells with uh, the VaporMax 212 listings. And uh, Cali finds 112 for the mags. 57 results for Hustle Crows Air Max Plus. And only 21 results for 10s, finds Kobe's. So there we go. 9, ZY, and 8. And let me go back. <laughs> so congrats to you. And send me the email or DM, and we'll figure something out. I can send that uh, gift card to you. Uh, and also a Hustler Hacks little uh, lanyard keychain thing. And whenever you have this on your keys your fines triple up just by having this. Now, here we go. People that are going to be added on to the chance to win bread 11s. Some people are going to hate this. Some people are going to love this. All I can say is try again next week. Our top hackers for week two go steals and deals. And I threw you in because it is a dollar fifty fine. I can't, you know what? I think it will sell. Sapatos gets thrown in for the massive haul and looking for thrifts for our Marshall's uh, Jersey and Orlando magic haul. So you get thrown in and we only got three this week, which means these are the people so far added in to win a pair of Jordan 11s thrifting together, stone builder, Ronzo's flipping sneaks, looking for thrifts, Zapatos and ghost deals and deals. You have been added in and there could be 12, 15 people. I don't know at the end of January how many are going to be added in, but we will have a decent amount and we will randomly draw and you pick whatever size you want. 
in the Jordan 11s. You want to wear them, do whatever you want. You want to uh, sell them, you can do that as well. All right. I'll be at it next week. Thanks in advance. Sneaky Feet, he's ready and he is pumped. He's calling it right now. He will be in next week. Let me get out of here. Remove this. So congrats again to uh, Mark Anthony won the gift card and to everybody else that got thrown in to win some Jordan 11s. And here's the thing, though. I have not done a 100,000 subscriber giveaway yet. So don't think that you have to tag me on photos or you have to do other stuff. I am going to be giving away Jordan 11s other ways. So we haven't done that massive other type of giveaway yet, but look out for it. That one is also coming up very soon. Miles, always great live show. Appreciate that. And let's see, I want a keychain. I got to order more. Um, actually, <laughs> I got to order more. And yes, I will definitely be giving away a lot more of those. Uh, Alan Resells, 100,000 giveaway <laughs> coming soon. I wish. I wish I had 100 grand to give. Uh, I clearly do not. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. South Beach, yes. I can use a pair, Jordan 11s. And uh, hit that like button from Collectibles Beyond. 190 watching, 63 likes. Hit that like button. And uh, yeah, I want 11s. And let's see who else. Hit that like button from Chino. And here we go. I want 11s, Josh Squad. We're going to have plenty, plenty full giveaways for 2020. Uh, we're definitely moving that up. When does it meet up in Philly? Asking for a friend. And we are working on that. So... All right, man, we are done. That's one hell of a live show. It went by, that hour just flew by Friday's video. Um, I don't know yet, Ross or Burlington, but if it is a Ross video, this might be one of the biggest hauls in the last couple of months. Ross was on fire uh, with these finds. Sneaky Feet, what's up? And we'll see you guys. Ross Shallington, Sneaky Feet, District Deals, EP Joey, Collectibles Beyond, Appreciate everybody that was watching, and I'll see you Friday's video, Monday's video, and next Wednesday, brand new live show, brand new giveaway. Go out and 